Hi, this is Team Code Astrology. In this video, I will show you how you can set up and integrate Sync Mastersheet plugin with your WooCommerce product data step by step. First of all, you have to create a Google Sheet. Let's go to Google Sheet, create a new spreadsheet. Let's name it Test Sync. Then copy the URL. Go back to your WordPress dashboard and paste the URL right there. Your first step is complete. Then go to next step. Now enter your sheet name here. This is your sheet tab name from the Google Sheet. Then go to next step. In the third step, you have to create a project at Google Cloud Console. Click on this link, open it with a new tab. It will redirect you to the Google Cloud Console to create a new project like this. Let's name it Test Sync Project, then click on Create button. It will create your project instantly and you will be notified from the right top corner, then select Project. As you have created the project already, then turn it yes and navigate to the next step. In the fourth step, you have to create a service account and generate a service file from your Google Cloud Console. Let's go to Google Cloud Console again. Click on the Create Credentials. Go to Service Account. Give a name to your service, then done. Click on the service link. Navigate to the keys tab, add key, create a new key. It will be selected as a JSON file type, then create now it will let you download a JSON file to your computer. Now you have to upload the JSON file. This is my JSON file. Open. The service file is OK. File has uploaded to server. Go to next step. Here you have to enter your API key. Go back to your Google Cloud Console. Back to the previous page. Click on Create Credentials, API key. Copy the API key. Go back to your dashboard and paste it right there. Click on next step. Now you have to enable the Google Sheet API. Click on this link, either go to Google API and services. Click on enable APIs and services. If you scroll below to the Google Sheet API, click on this and click on the enable button now the google sheet api enabled for this project now turn it yes go to the next step here you will get an email as editor email let's copy the email now go to your google sheet click on this share button and share the access with this email as an editor. Send. Access updated. Now go to your dashboard. Turn it is. Go to the next step. Now copy the API script. Go to your 
Google Sheets. Click on this extensions. Navigate to App Script Wizard. It will open with a new tab. Now paste your App Script code right there. Then save the project. Run the project. Now Google will ask for your authorization. Click on this review permission. Log into your account. Click on advanced. Go to untitled project. Allow the project. Now we can see the execution log below. Your sheet is connected. Your sheet is connected. Let's turn it yes and go to the next step. In the last step, you have to add the trigger in the same App Script wizard. Let's go back to App Script. From the left side navigation, click on these triggers. From the right bottom corner, click on this Add Trigger button. Choose Function to run. Select Do Edit. And select Event Type as On Edit. Save Changes. Loading data, this may take a few moments. After adding the trigger to your App Script Wizard, let's go back to your WordPress dashboard. In the trigger step, turn it yes and go to next step. Now you have to click on this synchronize sheet button. It's done. Let's go to your sheet. This is all your products. In the right corner, you will see the notification your sheet is connected.